Oh, wow, okay. Um, so I want to show you two things. One, um, well, the two, two versions of one thing, which is car, uh, car cam and ball cam, and when you should switch to help yourself. I'm just going to tell you mine because, I mean, you see the things that I can do mechanically, and it's just because, it's pretty much just because I know what's, where it's going. Um, I think it's really useful, just day-to-day -day passing or even hitting the ball and awareness. So, when I hit a ball, if I'm going fast or if I'm going somewhere, you can do this and see the ball, um you know, all the way through, but not necessarily see where you're going, because, you know, when you're going like this, how far away is the wall? You don't really know, because you can't see it. You're always focused on, on the ball, right? So, every time I go for a ball, I'll hit it, and I'll go into car cam for a second to see where I'm going, so my mind can get ready to turn or get back into a different position. So, I know I'm going up the wall. I know that's going up the wall. Um, and it helps me um, after it helps you recover so like after you hit it and you go into car cam you know where you're going right so you know initially where the ball is so that means you're gonna go hit it and then after you hit it you go into car cam to see where your car is going now there's times where you would switch between ball cam to car cam in order to hit the ball instead of doing it after you hit the ball and that is to me when you're turning back to the ball like this and you want to turn and be much more accurate than just doing it like this but sometimes you gotta do it like this and see where on the ball you can hit it more accurately so I think personally if I wanted to hit it on the left side of the ball I would be more accurate is uh, if, if I'm in car cam just like you're dribbling right so if I want to hit the left side of the ball I go to the left side and hit the ball um, if I go and push it you know, I want to go to the right side, I go to the right side of the ball. But sometimes you might miss that part of the ball because you're looking at ball cam. Um, so what I think is good to do is just push like this, go behind the ball, turn around, and then go into car cam so you can see exactly where you're going to hit the ball. If you do that fast enough, you can do it like that where it looks seamless pretty much. So once you turn... Um, it doesn't look like you change cameras. So I think using car cam after you hit a ball to see where you're going to go to recover, go back to your ball cam, and also to turn around or be m more accurate for a shot. Uh, so maybe that's helpful. <coughs> Hope it helps.